Greetings, 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 my V family all over the world. This is your chief. Welcome to Wednesday Message Week 21, which means it is Rank Advancement Week. It is the week after VCon, which has simply been unbelievable this week on the feedback the excitement the passion i hope you're seeing it on my insta all right i did the monkey dance i did the monkey dance i did the monkey dance in in the penang airport all right i hope you guys were on my insta live if you're not what's wrong with you please join us on insta live okay firstly i gotta do a shout out to all the kids who are watching me all the teens who are watching me on my wednesday message this is uncle chief uncle cheese Uncle Patman saying, I love you. I love you. I love you guys so much. Okay. Keep rocking. Okay. Uh, and this Wednesday message is something a bit different. Something I've been thinking about. Uh, because the last couple of days, I've been uh, meeting all the leaders. Okay. From Africa, from Middle East, from India, uh, from Lebanon, uh, Yemen, the Middle East, uh, everywhere. Um, I met. Uh, all a lot of leaders okay kazakhstan everyone and i realized something and i and i spoke to dr sri about it uh, dr sri vijay our our mentor our upline he did his magic at vcon it was unbelievable um i was lucky enough to be with him on sunday when i was doing my insta live so i want you guys to listen carefully all of you guys whether you are brand new welcome to the greatest journey of your life with qnet and the v whether you've been around for a long time, um, and whether you're max out king or queen, it doesn't matter. Listen, all right? Uh, this industry of network marketing, this journey we are on, the journey all of you are on, is not a short-term journey. This is a this is a long-term journey. I've been building this business as your upline, representing the great ones, Japa and Dato Sri Vijay, for 26 years, 25, 26 years now. It's a long journey. It's a long commitment. All right. You're going to make money. You can always retire and sit on a beach and drink mango juice. Um, but I follow in the footsteps of the great ones, Japa and Dato Sri Vijay. As long as they are here doing what they are doing, I will duplicate monkey see, monkey do and do what they do. And we three of us were talking uh, at this week on and we said okay let's have a cutoff so we plan to do it until we are 80 years old and we are laughing okay but it is a journey it is a journey uh, which could take a few years before you see substantial amount of money as an entrepreneur in network marketing okay it is a journey that has ups and downs okay i hope your uplines prepared you for the downs because don't worry about the ups you just celebrate okay it's a journey which is sometimes unpredictable. The market you least expect to grow could be your biggest market. And the market where you invested a lot of time and commitment uh, may not produce the desired results. Okay, The leader you expect to perform does not perform. And the leader you thought was hopeless could turn out to be your next VC, AVP, V partner, rock star, max out king or queen. But there's one thing that I believe contributed to my success in this business. And a lot of the leaders I met, I sort of were telling them how we did it in the early days. Okay. And this topic is a bit deep, but understand it. Because if you understand this and you make the necessary changes to the way you are building, the way your system operates, all right, it's going to be unbelievable. All right. So here's the theory. This is Chief trying to explain to you beautiful morons who I miss and love so much around the world. All right. Everyone who signs up into network marketing, they come 
because they are looking for something. Always remember this. They don't say yes because you are the best presenter or your presentation is a rock star presentation. I officially believe that my presentation is the worst presentation on the planet, but people still sign up. Okay? So everyone who signs up, every prospect you sit across from in a coffee shop, in Zoom, or in a function hall where you're doing a mass presentation, those who say yes, all right, they're looking for something. And whatever you said in your presentation, one element, something you said, or a combination of everything you said was exactly what they're looking for. And that's why they said yes, because they are coming from a life where something is missing. Now, the most common thing missing to a prospect is the comfort of financial stability, the comfort of potential financial freedom, the comfort of being rich, all right? That's missing when they are not in QNET, when they are go to work, come back home, 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 baby. You understand? That, that's the main thing missing. And they come into QNET because you demonstrated to them in your presentation that you could make a good amount of commission, uh, starting from 250, all right, all the way to 25,000 as Blue Diamond a week. Okay. And that gave them a click. They said, yes, they signed up. All right. But what a lot of people fail to understand that most people, before becoming part of QNET, they are looking not only for money. They are looking for many other elements that is missing from their lives. And I'm telling you from my own experience. When I first started, it was crystal clear that I just wanted to make money. Money, 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 okay? But as I joined and, 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 and spent time with Japa, Dato Sri Vijay, I realized that I was getting much more than money. All right? So let's identify what they're looking for. Because if you don't identify what your downlines are looking for, you will not understand how to provide it for them. So the first thing your downlines are looking for is how to make money, how to provide better for their family, how to provide financial freedom to their family. And that is crystal clear. 3,000 BV on the left, 3,000 BV on the right, you get paid a commission. Are you guys with me? And that one, you are experts. You got videos, you got... Uh, you know, systems, how they can maximize their income by putting 3,000 BV here, double, triple, whatever, all right? How to get more money, move from gold to sapphire to platinum to diamond to blue diamond. Are you guys with me now? Uh, focus on one tracking center or multiple tracking center. Um, spread out and mitigate your risk by building more than one market, all right? Raise leaders, help them earn and you will earn. You understand all this and you communicate this effectively and even if you don't, there's enough videos of Japa, Dato Sri Vijay, the V partners, my videos that communicate this message. So you got that covered. I think everyone is looking for that or not. Why would they sign up? And you got to keep them uh, in a situation of belief that it's possible because it is possible. You've seen 26 years. I was just telling a group of people two days ago that everyone who was on VCon stage today has diamonds, blue diamonds, platinums, uh, sapphire, or those who come up and max out kings and queens and get appointed as VC, AVP, V partner. At one time, I remember them sitting in a chair, listening to us, taking down notes. So we have a proven track record of making sure, all right, you can make money in QNET. Are you guys with me? We know, we are experts in doing this. As long as you are willing to pay the price, Find your dream. Never give up. Say I'm a warrior. Are you guys with me or not? Okay. And, and then, all right, there's something else people are looking for, which I realized. And a lot of people don't provide this in network marketing. They want a sense of belonging. They want to feel that they belong to a group that cares for them. A group that they can call eventually their family. Because you have to understand where they are coming from. They may be going through great challenges. They may have emotional, social emptiness in their heart. All right? And so did me. 
So did I. Me, I. So did I. But when I got into network marketing and I saw the brotherhood of Japa and Dato, and when they invited me into the brotherhood, it was so meaningful to be loved, to be cared for, to have somebody there who doesn't judge you and stand by you no matter what, did not judge you by your income, does not judge you by your BVs, but judge you by your 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 you know your heart. And and we had so much fun together and we 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 traveled the world together, we ate together. All right, we, so much laughter. You know, I can imagine the journeys I took with them in the airports and how Datu Sri had to remove like 100 items. You know, Datu Sri Vijay, two rings, bracelet, watch, belt, all right, his phone on his belt case. All right, so Japan and I always laugh how many things Datu Sri put into that security bucket to go through the airport. All right, and we will laugh away because he gets a bit irritated when he goes through that process. And I realized how important to me and why I stayed for 26 years. Because I realized I belong to a family and not just a team who was focused on what I could provide. All right? They love me for who I am. And, and, and that is so important. That power of association. That power of association that we operated and a lot of you used to do it. Now I don't hear enough about it. I used to invite everyone home every night. My mom, Amma used to cook. We all used to eat together. And those who were part-time used to go to their work from my house. I used to have shirts and toothbrushes ready in my bathroom. Uh, and those who had no work went back and slept and we all gathered. We, we became a family. You, you understand? Arun, Natli, Sati and David, um, they are brothers to me, the core, the alliance, their family. I knew them before they were married. I, I know they got married. I knew when they have kids. J.R. Maya was there when his son was born in the hospital. All right? We became a tight family. Are you guys with me? And that power of association, the newer networks, you guys are not doing enough of it. You don't have breakfast club. You don't have supper club. You don't invite people home and cook for them and chill out. We used to have family weekends where everyone brought their kids and we do barbecue, all right? And the kids play it. And people suddenly realize that this business is not only about how much money to make and, and what to do. And that's important. Don't get me wrong. But we added this element of a sense of family. And people loved it. And they stayed. And that's how loyalty was built. Because they knew there's something different about this organization. There was something different, unique, powerful, all right, that filled up an emptiness that I believe all of us have in our lives, okay? And, and that power of association. I remember how I used to go to this tea shop, chai shop in Dubai, and everyone used to gather there, uh, even all these people were younger, Sachin and all these people, and, and everyone used to come, all right? Power of association is important. I, I remember how Dato built his team with power of association. We ate together, we traveled together. We, we, we became from strangers to brothers and sisters. So people want a sense of belonging. This is fundamentally important. So make sure you operate your organization with a strong power of association, which is inclusive of kids, family. Now don't do it every day and nobody does presentation. Okay, don't do it every day and say, no need to do presentation. Let's all hold hands and sing Kumbaya. Don't do that. Focus on presentation, focus on TAT, focus on target. Add this element of power of association. At this element of family, at this element of sense of belonging and sincere love. And you cannot fake it. It must be real. Are you guys with me? And the third point I believe people are looking for is happiness. I think everyone wants it. Everyone needs it. Are you guys with me? And we are the only business in the world that can provide it. All right? Doing this business doesn't mean you have to be unhappy. Doing this business doesn't mean it has to be military level of, you know, operations. It can be fun. It can provide a high sense of happiness to everyone. I believe this. Why do people love VCon? Because you look at the whole experience of that five days for the participant. It's just filled with love and happiness and joy and freedom and dancing and, and learning. And, but learning in a fun way, you understand? Because within every adult, there is a child who is looking for happiness. And if you can build your organization, focus on results, 
Focus on power of association, sense of belonging, changing it to a family and provide happiness. You become a max out organization. How do you provide happiness? Just make things a little bit fun. Have recognition because nothing makes somebody more happy than being recognized. Do you understand? Recognize people. They do rule three, put them on stage. What does it cost you? Nothing. What does it cost to say something nice about somebody? Do you understand? Now you want to be coach B, be coach B. But if you're permanently coach B, you'll never max out. You have to provide an environment where they can be happy because why did they come into QNET to begin with? They came into QNET because the environment they were in had no happiness. They hated their job. They hate waking up in the morning and going there. And they were looking not only for money, they were looking for a place that they could be happy. So provide them with that place. You understand? Be a tough upline. Don't be an unhappy upline. Are you guys with me? Because monkey see, monkey do. As an upline, as even if you've got two downlines, you're an upline. So I'm talking to everyone. As an upline, you have the power to dictate what emotion is the highest in your system in your organization and i have chosen and i will always choose happiness because that's what people are looking for you understand so nobody said network marketing was not supposed to be fun and create happiness i believe network marketing must be fun it must create happiness and the reason why let me explain to you people stay where they are happy people will leave any environment where they are unhappy. So if you are losing your downlines, if you are losing the loyalty of your leaders, don't blame them, don't blame crisis, don't blame you know, the sky and the moon. Look within your organization. Has it become an unhappy place possibly? So always make the environment a place of happiness. And I promise you, people will stay and they will build. Some will get results sooner than others, but people will not quit if they are in a happy place. Are you guys with me? Now? And even if you're coach B and you hammer them, after that, uplift them, recognize them. It's okay to smile. It's okay to laugh. It's okay to have fun. I am here after 25 years because this is my happy place. I love it. That's why I stay. Are you guys with me? So understand why they join and then provide them with what they are searching for. And you will have, I promise you, a powerful, loyal, unbelievable, max out organization. All right. I'll see you on Sunday on my Insta. Tell everyone, tell everyone, Insta Live, 8 p.m. Malaysian, uh, Malaysian Standard Time. To all the VCon participants, I love you, I love you, I love you. Remember your dream. Make QNET the biggest decision of your life. All right? Rejection, I don't care. I love it. All right? Remember, you're going to buy your dream car. Go to the guy who rejected you and pip, 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 pip. Are you guys with me or not? Remember, I am a warrior. All right? I am a warrior. I am a warrior. You can overcome anything and the switch is gone. It's on warrior mode. Remember, stop worrying about what people think of you and do the monkey dance. Remember, Priya. All right? I miss you guys. I love you guys. This was the VCon with the most hearts. I know this heart, this heart, this heart. I don't know what else is happening, guys. All right, this heart, you understand? <laughs> and to all the V kids, V teens, Uncle Cheese misses you guys. All right, make week 21, your rank at once per week, the most unbelievable week of achievement, but also the happiest week. Love you guys.